Hey there, everybody. Time to do our last break of the night for eBay. It is going to be 2017-18 Donruss Basketball 5-box break number 32. All right. Yeah, bro, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, Pokemon and Magic are huge. That's another thing that's been discussed uh, for my boy to be doing. If you went to Target and bought a bunch of Pokemon cards, hold up, how do you know what's good? Well, you shouldn't go to Target and buy a bunch of Pokemon packs. You should go to PokemonBreaks.com and uh, check it out. Or you could go to Twitch.tv forward slash Pokemon Breaks and check him out and see what he does. All right, we got five box breaks. No, there's. I was gonna say, yeah, you can get a Pikachu autograph. No, you definitely can't do that. Um, but there, some some of the cards are worth money, man. Believe it or not, an Ash Ketchum relic would be pretty fire. I'm more so looking for that for that Misty, uh, for that Misty patch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or maybe the, one of the nurses. Yo, that's yo. You know what? You know, speaking of like comic cons and whatnot, that's why I love going to those things because the women, they, oh, I love it. I love it. Like they just go above and beyond to show everything but the goods. So there'll be like girls dressed up as Misty. You know, they got like half a breast hanging out, and I'm like, hey. Pretty much, Rara. Pretty much. Nerds with money will pay top dollar. I mean, because they're, you know, they're nerds. They're smart about it. So they don't really spend money on anything else except, you know, what they're nerdy about. Exactly, Ra Ra. Exactly. Well, Brian, I can tell you, it pretty much, you know how we do things by teams? He do he does it by types. So there's the fire type, there's, you know, grass types, there's psychic types. You know, there's all the types. So what he does is he sells them by types. And, you know, once he breaks it, you get all your types or whatever. Yeah, either, you know, nerds spend their money on things like Pizza Bites, uh, Hot Pockets, Mountain Dew, or Pokemon cards. Holla at my dog Mario. Oh, I forgot about the Funyuns. Well, Funyuns are more... Well, I guess, I guess you could throw Funyuns in there. You misspelled it, but it's all good. I won't, I won't hold it against you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Pizza Bites and Mountain Dew. Absolutely not. It's every nerd's uh, vitamins and minerals. It's how we keep our metabolism bumping. Hey, yo, you know what? Mario was supposed to bring me a Baja Blast Mountain Dew, and he never did. Fuck that guy. That's the only reason why I go to Taco Bell. Is to get the Baja Blast Mountain Dew. It's so fuego. So fuego. I've never tried Mount Mountain Dew with tequila, though. I'm old-fashioned, man. I don't like mixing stuff. If you're going to give me alcohol, just give me alcohol. If you're, if you're going to give me a Mountain Dew, then just give me the Mountain Dew. But don't give me Mountain Dew and tequila. No. That doesn't even sound good. I would rather I would rather just take the shot of tequila, and and then have the uh, 
the Mountain Dew on the side. You know what I'm saying? You see how they do me out here, Alan? You see how they do me? You know what's you know what I really miss? Y'all remember? I think it was like a red Mountain Dew. I think it was called Mountain Dew Code Red. Or something like that. That shit was fire. The last last time I seen that, like I was still in high school. So it must have been before 2008. But it was I think it was called Mountain Dew Code Red. And it was so good. Oh my god. Like really good. <coughs> what up, Snipe God? Oh, the Omega Snipe God. What's the difference between the National Treasure 2 rookie and the horizontal one? That's the only difference I know, Omega. The fact that one's horizontal and one's vertical. Pepsi Blue? Huh? I don't think I've ever tried that. You know, I had never tried a uh, Cherry Coke until recently. And I was su pleasantly surprised. Cherry Coke is pretty fire. Uh, but I'm not really a fan of Pepsi. I'm one of those people. I prefer Coca-Cola over Pepsi. Uh, and truth be told, I don't really like either. But if I had to choose, Coca-Cola. To me, Pepsi's like too sweet, if that makes any sense. Dr. Pepper Cherry, so they added an other, another ingredient to the Dr. Pepper recipe? Jeez. Never tried Dr. Pepper Cherry. Uh, you know, a lot of people sleep on Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is pretty fire. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Coca-Cola out of glass bottle, dog. You saw me er You saw me yesterday. I went to uh, in instead of going to like Taco Bell or like some other fast food joint, I just I went to uh, to Pinecrest Bakery, dog. And I had me a little a little a little shump shump, dude. Coca Cola in a glass bottle is so good. I've I've tried the vanilla Coke, and I gotta tell you, I'm not personally not a fan. Yo, Tomas, I'm telling you, dog. If you ever go to Colombia, try the Coca Cola in Colombia. Woo, so good. So I think they actually use like actual co coca leaves out there. It hits you hard on the first bump, or the first sip, exactly, exactly. That was the old, and that's what they, that's how they keep it in Colombia, Alan. Straight up coca leaves. And they use actual sugar in, uh, in other countries as opposed to, uh, that high fructose corn syrup or whatever it's called. Nah, that's a myth. That, you know, they say, oh, yeah, they put cocaine in Colombia. No, they don't. But they do use the coca leaf. They do use the coca leaf, which is an ingredient to make uh, the booger sugar. However, do you guys know the process of actually making the booger sugar? You know how many, you know how many more ingredients there are aside, or I should say in addition to the coca leaf? It's insane, bro. Yeah, there's a video on the internet where they, they show, uh, they actually show half the process to do it. Uh, 
Really, Alan? Dude, yo, they put, they use gasoline for one. They use cement. They use, they use, they use all, they use all types of stuff, bro. Like, to actually extract what they, what you need from the coca leaf to actually produce the booger sugar. You got to put so many chemicals and stuff into it, bro. It's ridiculous. I think it was like a, like a Vice episode or something that they they showed a reporter and he was like deep in the in the jungle somewhere in Colombia and they were actually making the booger sugar. But like the process to actually make it is insane. You'll sit there and watch him like, wow, people actually snort that stuff? Yes, sir, Tomas. Yes, sir. It's it's pretty intense. It's pretty intense. Oh, you already know. You don't got to tell me twice, Tomas. You don't got to tell me twice. My pops did 17 years for that. I got I got cousins in Colombia that are currently into that. You know, flipping it and ripping it. You know what I'm saying? So, trust me, dog. I, I know firsthand what it can do to you. I know all too well, unfortunately. Gotta stick to that. Mary J. I'm in love with Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? Alright, I'm still opening packs here. Yeah, man. And... and and y'all could just do it like all willy nilly. I do it willy nilly because because I just don't care. But yeah, oh man, it would be so awesome to just walk down the street like, oh yeah, you know, you know what? I need, I need, I need a little, I need a little buzz, and then just, just toke up. And I have to be paranoid about you know somebody giving you crap. Yolo, Alan, Yolo. Plus, you know how it is out here in Miami, man. But this is a crazy city to live in. There's no place like home. Yeah, I might have time to play some video games tonight. I might play some Persona. I had to give my boy back God of War because he's back in town. I didn't get a chance to beat it. But uh, I might, might play some Persona. Or Monster Hunter World. I don't know. I don't know. Play some, some video games tomorrow. Some video games. I just got the, the sudden random urge to play some video games. It's a video game called Persona 5. And uh, it is a, what you call it. It's an RPG. It's a role playing game. A Japanese role playing game. It's it's nerd stuff, Tomas. It's it's nerd stuff. That Red Dead Redemption Two gonna be fire, though. That's like the next game I'm looking forward to. 
I'm, I, you know, I was looking forward to God of War, but I don't have to play it. You talking about Persona Five, Alan? The, is it the theme song? It's a pretty, pretty, pretty jamming theme song. Uh, but yeah, Red Dead Redemption Two is gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on that Persona 5. And I'm, I'm one of those people, Alan, that like, I'm a completionist, so I like to play games. And then, to me, I haven't beat the game until I've done everything there is to do. All the collectibles, etc., etc. So Persona 5, I know, is one of those games that I'm probably going to put in a few hundred hours. Dude, I'm, yo, Red Dead Redemption 2, like, just off the trailer, looks gorgeous, man. I might I might have to invest in, like, a 4K TV or something. But I kind of don't want to go that far, because I have a feeling that they're going to announce, like, the next generation of consoles. Oh, dude, Alan, it's happening this year. They already said they're going to drop it 2018. If they don't, I'm going to riot. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, my God. When that game comes out, it's over. It's over. Um, Let me know when you go, Alan. I'm right there with you, dog. By November, Super K. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. With the uh, Black Friday and all that other stuff. Cyber Monday, blah, blah, blah. The only thing, the only thing stopping me from getting a 4K TV aside from the moolah, and even that's like not really a big deal, is more so I'm afraid that they're going to come out with like a, something even better once I get a 4K. Because with my luck, I'll buy a 4K TV and the next day or even the same day, Sony will come out and announce like, oh, you just bought a 4K TV. I hope you got your receipt because we got 20K now. I'm going to be like, well, damn. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is a Disney game. Yes, but no. It's a Disney game, but not really. It has Disney characters in it. It's 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 the greatest crossover. In in, 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 in in video game history. Who would have thought that putting Final Fantasy characters with Disney characters would produce one of the greatest franchises ever? I wouldn't have guessed. Anyway, let's see what's in Donald's basketball, though. So we're looking at a patch... Or an auto per box in this stuff. And we're doing five boxes. So let's see what happens. Last time I did this, I got a patch and an auto in each box. Which is extremely, extremely hard. Uh, Kawhi Leonard to 199 for the Spurs. They don't curse, Tomas. But there are some adult themes. So it's a little, it's a little crazy to see Mickey Mouse, you know, with a sword... Slapping people around. It's pretty it's pretty amazing actually. And plus that's you know that's my childhood, bro. You know, when Kingdom Hearts 1 came out, that was like 2002, 2000, 2003 or something. I was I was a little baby. I was a little baby. And that's part of my childhood right there. Miles Turner to 199 Pacers. It's pretty. It's hilarious, Thomas. It's pretty funny. Your your uh, your partners are Daffy. Uh, not Daffy. Donald Duck. And uh, and Goofy. 
and Donald Donald's like a wizard. Goofy is like uh like a brawler, powerhouse kind of dude. And Goofy just goes ham <laughs> with his with his uh with his uh shield and just smacks everybody around. While Donald can do all types of crazy magic. Autograph for Jordan uh not Jordan, Jawan Howard of the Wizards. Boom. Yeah, Don oh bro, oh my god, I hate Donald. I hope they fix that in Kingdom Hearts 3. Never heals me when I need to. But it's all good. Because they don't they don't even hit me, dog. Uh to 299 Tobias Harris Pistons. That's actually one of my greatest uh, gaming achievements ever. Is beating Sephiroth in both Kingdom Hearts games on the hardest difficulty. That those are one of my most proud gaming achievements. And I beat all the secret bosses in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I beat I beat the crap out of those games. Oh, you know what no, you know what's funny though? Toma I I uh Alan, I always sub out uh Goofy actually. Cause I, I kinda like having the magic component there. On um, proud mode dog. Hell yeah, that's the only way to do it. Zach Levine in 99 for the Bulls. The secret bosses in Kingdom Hearts 1 are pretty intense. Like, it took me forever to figure out how to beat Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1. It's, it's damn near impossible. Rudy Gobert with a patch for the Jazz. The Jazz had a pretty good season, man. Oh, yeah. Kingdom Hearts 1 was by far harder. Yeah. Way harder. Uh, your proudest moment was a perfect game in MLB The Show 2016. I can imagine that's... Oh, and it, yeah, I was going to say online or what? On, yo. Online. That's actually a pretty... That's pretty... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I remember another good, uh, another nice little memory of my gaming prowess. Uh, I'm pretty good at racing games. Um, I'm actually really good at racing games, like Gran Turismo, all that other stuff. Uh, especially Need for Speed Underground. So I vividly remember I was, uh, I was at, I think I was at Mario's house, or I was like at Mario's, like I was in his neighborhood, and uh, one of our, one of our friends. Uh, like challenged me to a, to a to a game, and I let him I let him overlap me one. Jesse, what? I'm just hearing what you're talking about now, and I already know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, dog! It's a it's a great story. You're talking about Romulo, dog. Oh, yes. You, you need for speed against Romulo backwards. Yes, sir. So yeah, so to continue the story, uh, you know, homeboy challenges me, so I'm like, all right, cool. You challenge me, I'll give you a head start. I let him overlap me one time, right? So uh, keep in mind, it was, I, don't, I forget how many laps it was, but I let him overlap me. Right there, that should cement victory, you would think. So to take it a notch further, I was like, you know what? It would be too easy for me to just go forward. I beat him going backwards. He overlapped me. I beat him going backwards, and I overlapped him. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I felt like a god. Anyway, Dirt and Whiskey to 299. Mavericks. Oh, uh, dude, there's. As a gamer, there's no greater feeling than that. Having, like, especially when you play somebody online, having them message you back, like, oh, you're a cheater, bro. You cheated, bro. Uh, pff, you're. Oh, come on, man. It's, it's so satisfying. Especially when you know you didn't cheat. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just that good. I'm just that good. Jabari Parker to 99 for the books. Or maybe I'll play some 2K. I haven't played 2K basketball in a while. Kevin Love, patch for the Cavaliers.
I can't wait for the new Pokemon game to come out. Mario was telling me about it. It's supposed to come out for like the Switch. I'm kind of anticipating that thing. It's probably going to be a really good, like an open world Pokemon game would be insane. For the books, Jason Terry autograph. Straight veteran autograph so far. I was hoping to see some rated rookies. Maybe a Donovan Mitchell. That would be pretty sick. All right, Alan. Thanks for hanging out, my dude. Appreciate you, man. Go ahead and get you some sleep, dog. Thanks for stopping by, my dude. Uh, De'Aaron Fox of the Kings to 299 What else we got? That's my boy, Alan, man. Went to high school. That's my dog. That's my dog. I find it pretty cool that, like, I'm still able to maintain some of the friendships I had from, like, high school and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Like, no matter how old we get or where we are in life or where we are on the planet, we're still homies. Like, that's cool as, that's cool as hell, man. And another reason why I don't, I, I don't see the need to go to my, my high school reunion uh because i already keep in touch with the people i want to keep in touch with that and i don't want to see the ex-girlfriend that's that's another reason too. all right two boxes done so far what else we got same here tomas you know i try to do the same I try to do the same you know but it's it's difficult you know Everybody growing up, everybody got their own things to do, so having the schedules match up can be difficult, but, you know, I, I love my friends, bro. You know, we could go months without talking to each other, and when we finally see each other or hang out or whatever, it's like we never skip the beat. It's, it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty blessed to have some pretty good friends. Now, let's see if I can bless one of you boys or girls with something nice. I already see an autograph uh, staring at me. But let's see what's here first. Frank Jackson to 299 Pelicans. There you go, Tomas. It really, it'd be like, yo, it's crazy how... You you ain't never lied, dog. You ain't never lied. For the Hawks, numbered 80 and 99, Torian Prince. I believe that's, well, no, that's 17, 18. He would be a second, second year there. That goes to the Hawks. So when are you actually, like, are you sleeping in your new house now? Or do you still have to, like, move in and blah, blah, blah? I know you got to buy furniture and whatnot. So are you, like, in your old crib or something right now? George Hill patch for the Kings. I know it's, I know, the, I know he has his Jazz jersey on. But as you can see, it goes to the Kings. Also, Saturday for sure you're going to be slipping at the... Nice, man. That's awesome. Blake Griffin to 199. Clippers. With the parentals right now. My dog got to do that. Op do you guys call it open house too? Like, I, I know an open house is like, oh, when the realtor shows the house or blah, 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 blah. But like, we call it the same thing down here in Miami. Is like... For us, an open house is like, oh, my dog just bought a new crib. Open house party. <laughs> JJ Reddick to 199 for the Sixers. That, that housewarming party or the open house, baby. Hell yeah. I love being a Hispanic. I wonder if older cultures like do the same thing. What do we have here? I wish I could be there, Tomas. 
I wish I could hop on the jet and be there. One of these days. One of these days. Stanley Johnson to 299 Pistons. Exactly. You got to do a family. Exactly. You see? You know the play, dog. You got to do a, a nice, nice family one. And then you do the real house uh, house party with the homies. Because the, the family can't really be there for that debauchery. At least not my family. My mom will look at me and be like, Mijo. <gasps> Because <laughs> my mom's an angel. Me, on the other hand, not so much. We have Devin Booker of the Suns to one eighty nine. Exactly, Tomas. Exactly. You gotta do, gotta do two separate ones. You gotta do the family one, and then you could keep the cool family members around. You know, like the cousins and whatnot. Not like immediate, immediate family. And then you know, do the real one, the real open house. Samuel Jalea Celtics to forty nine. Boogie Cousins to 189 for the Pelicans. What else? What else? What else? Zach Collins patch for the Blazers. That's what else. No autograph out of this box yet. Although the box clearly says patch or uh, it says actually autograph or relic and it's one of them per box so the fact that we've been getting autos and patches in each box has just been luck honestly Derek Collison to 299 Pacers because I repeat each box clearly says one autograph or memorabilia per box the fact that we've been getting patches and autographs, one each per box. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. So what happened to your uh, your soccer match? Tomas, did your team win or, or what? What do we have here? Yeah, I don't think there's going to... Oh, there might be an auto. I think it might be that one. There it is. Kelly Tripuka. Pistons auto. Man, that's a... What is that? Is that a... What's the, what's the name of that haircut? The mullet? Business in the front, party in the back. Oh, damn, Tomas. You got money on that thing, or, or just, or what? And uh, last box mojo here. Good luck, y'all. TJ Leaf to 189 Pacers.
that Billy Mitchell is a liar and a cheater and a stuck up fucking piece of shit. Fuck it. Oh god. Sorry for that. Uh, what do we have here? Are you for real? Oh, that is sick! Larry Bird! Wow! A Larry Legend autograph. 17 out of 40. That is amazing! Oh, that is so sick. Damn, that is nice. And he kept the, well, yeah, he kept the entire autograph in the sticker, too. What a legend. Larry Legend. That is a nice card. That is a nice card. Wow, that's sick. What else we got? Thomas Bryant, to 29, Lakers. So we really got patches and autographs in each box of this. Must be a hot case. Must be a hot case. A Larry Legend autograph in there? What? I know you probably wanted a Jalen Brown rookie autograph for the, for the Celtics. But I think you're going to be happy with a Larry Legend auto. I, at least I would be anyway. But what do I know? What do we have here? Well, you know, Brian, you could always ask him, what are you doing? <laughs> and he will take time and explain it to you. Sammy Ojo, so this was a Celtics box. A Celtics patch and an autograph. Uh, the Celtics patch for Sammy Ojo Leye. So, Brian, just ask him what he's doing and, you know, he will let you know. What do we have here? Greg Monroe to 199 for the books. And that's it for the break. So, recapping the hits, we got Kelly Trapuka, Pistons. Torian Prince, Hawks. Jason Terry, Bucks. Jawan Howard, Wizards. And Larry Bird. Celtics. And that was the break, y'all. 2017-18, Donner's Basketball, five box break, number 32. Thank you, eBay. We'll get that out to you.